right, this is John Cole with OKRaw.com. Today we're going to another exciting episode for you and where I'm at today is I'm at the Jiu Jitsu Academy here, established in 1996 here in Wellington, Florida. And why I'm here today is actually to visit a buddy of mine, uh, Mauricio Villardo, who's actually a black belt in Jiu Jitsu and who eats a plant-based raw vegan diet. And the reason why I'm visiting Mauricio today is because he's still all vegan but he's got off the track a little bit with being raw. I know this is a problem that you guys might be having right now if you're watching this video or maybe had in the past or may have in the future. So I'm here to do some coaching with him and maybe even he's gonna be doing some coaching with me on the jujitsu or something like that <laughs> and I'll be able to better defend myself. You know, so he's been, he's been doing this for a long time and I respect him a lot in his profession but you know, likewise he respects me for what I do. So you know, we can help each other out and that's what I think we should do in our society today. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, check out his uh, Jiu Jitsu Academy. All right, we're right in the middle of uh, a session that got going on a class and I'm gonna see if I could uh, maybe get uh, suited up and, uh, and do some moves. I got here late to the class and uh, I actually got suited up and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys uh, what I learned. Basically I learned how to like get away if somebody grabs you. Then I learned how to put a, if they come for you, I, I learned how to put them in a guillotine lock and then uh, take them down. And uh, jiu-jitsu, what it's about, it's about people that are, especially smaller people, you know, like uh, raw vegans that are a little bit thinner. So, but you don't need a lot of strength. I mean, even though I'm quite strong, you use leverage and weight to your advantage if you're taught properly to do it properly. So even, you know, young ladies or, you know, guys or anybody could learn some of these self-defense techniques because that's what jiu-jitsu is about, it's about self-defense. Come here, put it in the show, here. That's a good example, you go here, Lock, squeeze, squeeze hard, squeeze hard. Yeah. I felt, if, I, if you keep squeezing, I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna block the, the carotid here, after the blood flow, okay, to the brain, and that's it. All you need is to press a little bit here. So it can be a big guy, a bodybuilder, with a large neck, but doesn't matter. The artery is right here, you know what I mean? So you're gonna close this blood flow, and that's it. You don't have blood to the brain, you know, that pass out. You know, nobody got hurt, you know what I mean? It's a way that you can run away or, you know, handcuff or whatever it is, you know, or walk away so you're safe and nobody got hurt. You guys, what I learned real quick. Yeah. Give me your seats, man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, sit down with Mauricio, and uh, he's helped me with my jujitsu. I'm gonna help him with his raw foods. So Mauricio has helped me with my jujitsu skills, which I actually had none when I walked in, and now I have actually some things to defend myself. So you guys better watch out. <laughs> but so now I'm gonna help him actually with his raw foods, because you know he looks up to me as the raw food master, which I've been doing this for 20 years and I've been on a specific goal during the last 20 years to, you know, how to do raw foods as healthy as possible because not everybody focuses on this in my opinion. There's a lot of ways to do raw foods and I think it's really sad when people, you know, follow a dogma that has been outdated and has been updated, much like the jiu-jitsu, uh, you know, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu that uh, Mauricio teaches, you know, they're always updating it, finding new ways to, and to do it better and I'm always trying to find new ways to do raw foods better. So Mauricio, I know you, you got into raw foods for two years, right? You've been mm -hmm. in for doing yeah. two years. No, uh, yeah, 100% raw vegan for two years. Yeah. Two years, so why did, why did you get into raw foods real quick and then how has it in, increased your performance in jiu-jitsu? Well, what I started was my own. I, I always try to eat healthy. Uh, I follow many diets, you know, since I was very young, since I started jiu-jitsu. Uh, I tried the Grace diet. It's a great diet too because you combine uh, food, you know, uh, you know, mixing food, food combining, food combining exactly, and you know, but it's very hard to do too because you gotta memorize all. You know, food combines very difficult, even in raw food or anything. But anyway, well, I did that. I did low glycemic diet and all the diets I did. I felt like. It, it's pretty good to cut weight for tournaments or maybe for, um, you know, just look look good and, you know, cut weight. And, but 
I didn't feel anything different than, than that. In fact, a lot of diets I follow, I felt like weak, tired. And how I start with the with the raw vegan, I actually start uh, eating a lot of vegetables. I got a big batch of vegetables. And I said, and I had the, the, the blend tech that time, I was using the blender and I was all excited. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna start to eat a whole week just with the vegetables and see what happened, you know. Uh, even though I never eat like red meat, I always avoid red meat. I was just eating uh, white meat, they call it fish and, and chicken. Uh, and I always, I, I, I eat a good, pretty good amount of meat, you know, I was eating, yeah, together with milk. Uh, and then one bad mistake I was doing a lot was getting a lot of uh, coffee, you know, maybe because, you know, I want to get a lot of energy to teach and, you know, I start to, to eat, uh, I mean, drink co coffee, a lot of coffee. And also the biggest problem with that, I don't like straight coffee, you know what I mean? So what I was doing, I was getting like, uh, I was going to Whole food, they have that jar, you know, that you can fill up, bring your jar. So I was bringing my jar, I get like a big mug, you know, those ones you buy in a, in a gas station, and I go there and I fill up with the, the cough, you know, because you, you pay like the, the money and you can fill up the <laughs> cough, with the, doesn't matter the size of the cough. And I was, you know, because I don't drink cough straight, I was drinking cough with milk, you know, and, and, and sugar. So uh, that's bad, because you get the sugar, you get milk, uh, and the cough is very acidic, and the caffeine, so... And I thought, that's, ah, it's okay, it's not bad because the coffee is organic and some people even say that's antioxidant, you know, probably ox antioxidant before you burn. But anyway, well, I was doing that and I said, you know what, let me try this whole week, like, you know, just for a week, get some vegetables, you know, do a lot of uh, uh, vegetables, uh, broccoli and stuff. I was mixing, make soups, you know. And the, the time I did that, like three, four, five days, I started to feel like great, you know. Not, not in terms of lose weight, but I was feeling great in energy, you know. I was sleeping better, uh, I was getting more energy, and then I started, I got excited, said, okay, I'm gonna continue that. So I started, you know, cutting, okay, let's see what I'm gonna cut now. You know, I started to cut the milk, you know, and of course I cut the coffee, I actually cut the coffee, and then the milk together because I don't need to, the only way I was getting milk was from the cough because I drink coffee and milk but whatever so I cut that too you know and then uh, I'm still like you know what I should be vegan you know let me try like vegan because right now it's just pretty much cheese you know and eggs I don't eat much eggs so I cut you know eggs and then I cut the cheese I love, I used to love cheese, you know, so, and then I, you know, every time I was cutting things, I was feeling better, I felt my, my skin better, I felt uh, my hair better, I even, I even think I stopped with little, uh, hair loss, you know, with that, because I feel like I was, every time I comb, or after training, I put the hand on my head, I feel like some hairs, you know, and that's probably like, from the bad food, the, you know, I was getting, you know, so that stop too. So sleeping better, better energy. Uh, my mind was clear. I felt that too, more focused uh, with that. Uh, pretty much like I used to have insomnia, you know, maybe from the caffeine, you know, but doesn't matter. I used to, to have big problem to, to sleep. And that I think was one of the biggest thing I felt. Uh, I never in my life slept so good. <laughs> I don't have problems. Just lay down in bed and I sleep. You know, I have problems to wake up, but you know what I mean. But I'm not a morning person. But anyway, uh, and I start to do this, start to do the juicing, and then I start to be. Then I move to 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 the raw vegan. You know, okay? Because I said, you know what? I feel like this is even better because I always heard this. You know, have even. Uh, members of the family Grace, the daughter of Carlos Grace, she was doing a, a diet and I read in his biography that she was extreme in a point that she was eating everything raw. So that was the first time, and I remember when I was reading that book, you know, I, 
It's like, wow, how can somebody just eat raw, raw vegetables? Like, wow, you have like no life with that, like it's tasteless. And that's all the thing I, I found, you know, when I start to eat everything raw, I sense more, the, I have more things or stuff I'm eating. So if I'm going to eat something with a lot of seasoning, I kind of feel everything there, the, all the ingredients I feel, you know, you know that. And, and then, you know, when I start to, I saw a lot of your, your videos and, and stuff online and I saw nice recipes and they are really, really good, you know, so... I mean, you kind of start to appreciate more the food, the flavor of the of uh, uh, tomatoes, you know. You start to, to the, the, the flavor of the leaves, you know. It's something that you really need to try yourself. In. I never thought I'd be encounter myself in the future doing something like this, uh, but you know, happens. And and now, even though I used to like meat and I used to like uh, cheese. I felt that that's not good, you know, I feel that I, I don't want to put that thing in my body, you know. Uh, so I don't, I, don't, I don't crave that more. I did that for two years, you know, I was very, very extreme, because that, that's me, you know. Um, I like to do things like with discipline and a routine, but again, that's me. So, and that, that's directly connected to the martial arts season because it's all about routine and discipline. I mean, people he, come here every week and they learn the same things until they know it w without even thinking about it. So they could defend themselves, you know, if needed. And a thing that's really cool about Mauricio is that he went, you know, a, a, for you guys to learn tips from Mauricio's uh, journey. He didn't like just go raw overnight. You know, he started cutting out things one at a time, if you guys noticed. So that's an excellent tip you guys could use. Cut out things one at a time. And, and then, you know, he was vegan for a while, and then he went into raw vegan. So, Mauricio, I want to ask you, you know I mean, because you're into the martial arts, you, you work out all the time, you teach the classes. I mean, are you getting enough protein on a raw food or vegan diet? Because people think, oh, you need all this protein to be athletic. I mean, you're quite strong. You're taking down people twice your weight tonight, all kinds of stuff, you know. You, uh, you know, in the beginning, I fought. Even when I was doing raw vegan, I was trying to get the raw shakes, you know, because I used to get a lot of uh, protein, whey protein, you know. Everything like all natural. I, when I used to eat uh, diaries and stuff, I tried to... Everything, I, I consider myself in that time eating very healthy because I never got like stuff with MSG and like artificial flavor, artificial color, or like uh, uh, cheap sugars, you know. I always try to get everything all natural, organic, so I should get the whey protein, but you know, you know, all natural. But I have that thing, I should have that. Uh, vision of, uh, you know, you need my protein, you know, I need my shake, my protein shake. So when I was doing the raw vegan, I was getting raw vegan shakes, you know, protein shakes. And I was getting some B12 and, and I, another thing I want to tell, you know, I always, I always monitor this. Every six months I take blood work. And that's when I start to do the raw vegan, that's something to say, listen, I really want to monitor that. That's smart. Yeah. That's another thing I recommend you guys get blood work, you know, so you can see where you started and then where you go, whether you get better or whether you get worse. And as you go, you need to learn and adjust. If your blood tests are worse than, you know, something you were doing in the raw vegan was not healthy and you need to adjust and make it better. Yeah. So I was fortunate to have a good um, blood work. I never had a problem with cholesterol or anything. But when I started to do this, it got better, way better. You know, I was like, excellent and I went like I even showed to a student of mine that he's a doctor he said like wow man I never saw blood work like that it's fantastic it's unbelievable mm -hmm. you know my cholesterol is what? super low he okay. even said man you need to you know <laughs> your good cholesterol is like in a line you know what I mean and it was like 40 I don't remember it's like in a, in a line if it'd be like maybe 39 you'd be bad and you know so yeah that's what that's what I did, you know, with the um, with the diet. Cool, cool. So, so I know you're a raw vegan for two years, but then something happened, right? And then you you got off track. You know, you know. Uh, I guess you're invited to be in a movie. Tell us really quickly about how you're invited to be in a movie. You're in a movie. It's actually on Netflix. Wild Horses. I'll put a link down below or something. But, uh, but how did you get off track of raw foods when you're when you when you were in the movie? Yeah, like I said, you know, I like to do everything, like, you know. Perfect, you know, I like to have my routine and, and I, 
and it was very convenient too because uh, keep in mind too I was doing that just for I never I never I never I was just looking the videos and nobody pushed me to do the, the, the diet I mean I don't like to call a diet I like to call like a lifestyle style or eating habits I never tell people I'm doing a diet because you know this is not a diet this is something that you know you gotta do for the rest of your life you know it's not something you're gonna do for three months and you think you're gonna detox and you're gonna kill some cancer cells and then you can come back and eat anything you want before I mean no you just gotta you gotta step solid you gotta go slow and moving forward and not don't backward I mean you can go a little bit like I did out of the wagon but I mean I, 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 I knew I, I know I can always come back you know it's not a big deal what I did uh, doing a lot of travels you know and you you know like you know in a movie set and everything what are you gonna do you just have the food I mean, you gotta like what? Like, there's nothing to eat. You gotta survive. So I eat cooked food. <laughs> and you know, I always have the comments of people. People saying like, "Hey man, you know, you can you can eat. You know, what, what gonna happen? If you eat those vegetables, gonna die." I mean, yeah, of course, you know. But that was me. I know if once I get you know out of the wagon, you know, out of the track, I'm gonna be in, pro in trouble. So. I said, you know, yeah, gonna get some vegetables, and you know, I ate the vegetables. I kind of felt like a little, uh, a little weird, you know, first time because I was like, two years without eat, you know. And so I remember I was in a restaurant in, uh, in Utah, in Park City, and yeah, I say, okay, let's, what do you have? Oh, I can make some grilled vegetables. I said, okay, you know, I can make sure it's not butter, man. Make sure it's not butter. So uh, they they brought in the. The vegetables, it was pretty good. I ate, you know, I felt great. I mean, nothing bad. Next day, maybe I'm gonna feel bad next day. Uh, no, it's okay, no problem. But that kind of feel put him out, out of the, the, the train tracks, you know. And then it's like, okay, let's get this, this roasted nuts and let's get that. I came back here, remember when I came back from, from the trip, my friend Fernando came and said, hey man, since you are eating cooked, let's try some vegan pizza, you know, and, uh, in a restaurant, um, mellow, mushroom mellow, something. I went, went there, I, oh, that's the diet cheese. Oh, I never tried diet cheese, you know. <laughs> and then I start to eat those things. Said, no, it's okay, you know. I say, oh, I'm just going to go a little bit uh, out of the wagon, but I come back. And, you know, and then I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to do uh, 80, 20, you know, 20% raw. I mean, 20% cooked, 80% raw. And then, like, some days like 50 50 and some days are like the whole day eating cooked uh, i start to crave like beans that's weird because i never like beans and then like the flavor of black beans I start, lentils you know i start to eat that a lot and i felt a little change you know i felt a little change i was in a, my weight when i was raw vegan i was like 132 okay but Muscles, you know, I didn't lose any muscles. I was, I was great for competition. That's really good, you know. Some, I was in a, in a prime of uh, cutting weight for for fighters, you know. I mean, I didn't compete a lot during that, you know. But because I was busy doing all the stuff, but you'd be great because never in my life I did that. The lowest I could be was like 143, something like that, cutting weight and doing like hours and hours of uh, cardio. Uh, when I was eating meat, you know, that's before, and that's it, just like try to dehydrate to make the weight, you know, it's very unhealthy, and you go make the weight, usually you go fight bad because you, you stress your body cutting all the weight, and I was walking around with, with the raw vegan, like 132, 134, you know, uh, the moment I started to eat cooked, yeah, slowly my weight went up, you know, my weight went up, and went up, and went up, and went up. And then I was like 142, and then 144, and then 146, you know, like, in, it's about like a year uh, that I stayed eating cooked, you know, and then uh, the weight now is 148, yeah, yeah, so we went a lot up, and, and I was surprised because, uh, I mean, I'm not training a lot lately, you know, that maybe contribute a little bit, but definitely the, the cooked food make me put weight, yeah.
you know. So no, nothing. I mean, nothing bad. It's still health and everything. In fact, some people come to me and tell, "Hey, man, you look much better." I say, "Why?" You know, ah, because you know, you kind of feel your face a little filler. And again, you know, that's like people try to measure your health, how you look. You know, and that's a big mistake. Okay, I believe that weight that I had, that's my natural weight. That's the weight I should be. You know what I mean? That's that's the you know if you live in a wild, you know that's the that's the weight I should be. That should be my weight, my real weight, because I I was moving around fast. And, you know, you're not carrying all that weight. Think about that. Yeah. Well, you know, if you got to carry 10 extra pounds, exactly. then you're not going to move as quickly, especially in in jujitsu. You know, every weight. Every pound matters. Yeah, I, when I was training on the ground, of course, I feel that I didn't have much weight to put over people. But one thing that's very important, and that's one of the things I know it's a lot, training, training jiu-jitsu, okay? My stamina went to the roofs. I don't get tired, you know? I felt this much better. On raw. Yeah, on, on the raw. Even the vegan too. Even the vegan too. I don't get tired as I, before when I used to eat meat, I used to feel like, <gasps> you know, I had the, it's a short energy. I had the short energy, but like after like five minutes, if I go like a hundred percent, after five minutes, you know, six minutes, you're already like putting your heart through your mouth, you know what I mean? And now, no, it's kind of, I don't have that explosion that I had before, but I don't get tired. You know, I can, I can train like for an hour if I want. I felt it because I feel that is all the extra weight that I, I don't have. So the kind of, when I'm training, I'm burning less calories to move around. You know what I mean? Because before it's like I have a, a, a 30, 40 pounds backpack. It's not my weight. It's something extra that I'm carrying. And that's what I believe. So as you guys just heard, Mauricio basically got off raw foods and he's been off it actually until I got here. And I got here a week ago now, or approximately. And I've been staying at Mauricio's house, coaching him along and helping him get back into raw, you know, and it's very important, you know, sometimes you just need that extra push to see a model, a role model, you know, to, to do it so that you could continue. So I'm glad I've gotten him to be raw for a week. What we're going to do now for you guys is actually go back to his house, to his kitchen to show you guys some of the tools he's using and some of the food he's eating, uh, you know, to maintain our raw foods diet now, you know, that I've been here coaching him and he's back on it. All right, so now I'm in the kitchen of Mauricio, and you can check out his kitchen. He's got a nice kitchen here. And I want to go over actually the reason why he has been successful in this last week returning to a raw vegan diet. And then at the end of this, we're actually going to sit down with Mauricio again and ask him some questions about it. So, I mean, the main reason, in my opinion, why he's been successful at, you know, getting back to a raw vegan diet is because, number one, he has the equipment. That's so important. Now, you don't need equipment to do the raw vegan diet, but let me tell you, it makes it significantly easier. We're going to go over all the different equipment that he has. The second reason why he's been successful is because he has the food. That's super important. If you don't have the food, right, the raw foods, the fresh fruits, the fresh vegetables, you're not going to eat it and you're going to grab other stuff. So he has his kitchen like fully stocked with fresh fruits and fresh vegetables of all different kinds. So let's go ahead and uh, go over his kitchen and share some of the appliances and the food that he has with you guys. So of course one of the things I like are the ceramic knives. He's got some ceramic knives. These guys I like because they stay sharper longer. They don't need to be sharpened constantly and they work really well. Now you just got to be careful with them otherwise you're going to you know, uh, break them because they are fragile. He also has a, a ceramic mandolin which I really like as well as I like the ceramic Julian slicer. I'm moving over. He has this guy right here. This is known as the Vita Clay Chef. So this is how he cooks his food. And you know, I want to stop there for a second. You know that just because a food is cooked doesn't immediately mean it's bad or toxic. And here's the thing. And I want you guys to pay attention to this. You know, if you say you're vegan, right? What does that mean about you? That means you don't eat foods from animals. You don't eat, you know, meats, you don't eat cheeses, you don't eat dairy, you don't eat eggs, and you don't eat honey. And if you say, I'm a raw foodist, well, what does that mean? That means, you know, you don't eat cooked foods. And if you're a raw vegan, that means you don't eat any animal foods and you don't eat cooked foods. But the problem with that is that it doesn't state what you eat, right? It doesn't state what you eat because I want you guys to focus on what you eat, not what you don't eat, because there are plenty of raw foodists that could eat junk. 
right? And I've seen that so many times. And there's plenty of vegans that could eat junk. So if you are and do choose to cook your foods, there are plenty of cooked food that you can make like with the Vita Clay that's quite healthy. So not all raw foods are created equal and not all cooked foods are created equal. And this is something I've learned, you know, probably within the last five years. And the worst forms of cooking are the frying. That's absolutely the top worst. You know, things like uh, microwaving, in my opinion, are really bad. And also, you know, high temperature baking, you know, above 300 degrees, you know, not good. You're going to create excess carcinogens in the food, which in the long run are not going to be good for you. Now, the best ways to cook your food are by like slow cooking, like with the Vita Clay, because that does a low temperature for a long period of time. Or something like steaming or boiling or pressure cooking. Those are the best ways to cook your food if you choose to. And then even amongst those ways, you know, if you pressure cook raviolis that are vegan, but they have a, a lot of processed foods in them, it's not healthy. So the best cooked foods are whole plant-based foods. And you know, Mauricio talked about it earlier, when he started eating cooked foods, he started gaining weight. And why is that? Well, because when you cook foods, you know, generally those foods are more calorically dense. You know, he probably wasn't steaming, although he might have been steaming some, you know, uh, broccoli and things like that. When you're cooking foods, you're cooking grains that are high calorie. You're cooking like sweet potatoes that are high calorie. You know, you're having maybe more processed foods that are more high calorie than fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, which are the lowest calorie foods, but more importantly, the highest nutrient foods. So if you do choose to cook your foods, I do encourage you guys to like, you know, cook whole vegan fruit and vegetables in their whole state, because those are simply the best foods to cook. Also, I do like the beans, of course, you know, those are also whole foods that are quite nutritious and cook some mushrooms while you're at it, because those are also anti-cancer. Now, I want to move on besides just the cooker, you know, he has all the raw food appliances and actually he has some that I'm actually envious about. He has this guy, this is the all new Vitamix and this has the uh, 64 ounce squat carafe or short and fat carafe and this is like the first real time besides being at a trade show or something, I actually got to use it and let me tell you, I really like it. So uh, while you didn't get this at discountjuicers.com to support me, I encourage you guys to support me if you want to get a model like this. We do sell the model, you know, with the uh, large craft. He actually got these at Costco. So I'll be the first to tell you guys if you want to get the best price and the best deal on the Vitamix, buy it at Costco. You know, right now I think they're running this at like uh, $3.99 and then they have a special promotion where they'll give you $50 off. So it's $3.49 uh, for the model with the large craft. Now, the benefits of that is that, you know, it's a good price. The negatives is that you don't get the raw food, you know, vegan raw recipe book that comes with the package uh, in the Turbo Blend VS if you bought it from discountjuicers.com and you're not supporting me. But, uh, you know, if you want to support me, great. And if not, you want to get the best deal, go to Costco. Because the other thing I like about Costco is that they have basically a forever warranty. Save your receipt. And even after the warranty expires on the Vitamix, if the Vitamix blows up, the bearing goes out, Vitamix is not helping you. Take it back to Costco and they give you a full refund. So, I mean, I really like Costco. They are a, a better big corporation. All <laughs> right. He also has got the large Vitamix, the standard 64 ounce craft. You can see the difference in the crafts. And uh, this, this one's a lot better if you want to just use a uh, process smaller amounts because this is so wide. You have to put a significant quantity of uh, produce to process in there. And with this, you could put a lesser amount. But of course, if you want to process lesser amounts, I would recommend something like the uh, 32 ounce craft. Now next, of course, he has a standard food processor, which I think is really good for helping you, you know, chop up and masticate things. And that's why I like all these appliances, the blender, the food processor, and the juicer, because it allows you to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in you, because that is truly what is missing from the standard American's diet. And even some raw foodists, they don't focus on the fruits and vegetables. So this allows you to get more in easily without having to chew it as much, because, you know, today, it took me three hours to eat my lunch, you know, because I was talking and I was chewing, making it all into a mush before I'd swallow. And most people have 30 minutes for their lunch break. And if you bring a nice big salad, you got to chew that salad. You don't have the time to chew it properly into a mush. So that's where I really think blending, you know, food processing and juicing could help you out because it's already, you know, starting to break that stuff down. Of course, next he has the... Uh, model Omega NC800. 
I sell all kinds of different juicers at discountjuicers.com. I also make videos online to share with you guys the best juicer for you. So I want to encourage you guys, if you are looking for a juicer, uh, support me in my work uh, by visiting discountjuicers.com. Be sure to check my other YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash raw foods for all my juicer demonstrations so that you could determine the best juicer for you. Now I did use the NC800 uh, during my visit with Mauricio and I juiced a bunch of peppers in it. It actually did an amazing job. That being said, I'd rather use my Omega VSJ 843 on peppers because it works a lot easier and it's less work because it's like almost auto feeding. But yeah, this, this machine is definitely better than the verticals for things like wheatgrass and sprouts. And uh, you know, if you're gonna juice a lot of straight leafy greens, this is a little bit better choice, but I like the verticals because they're a lot more versatile. And uh, let's see, back here he's got a toaster oven. Uh, while he is vegan and uh, mostly raw, his daughter will also eat cooked foods and plus he probably cooks in there sometimes and if he is cooking here, I would recommend that he cooks you know, at a lower temperature for longer instead of a high temperature for shorter. And then he also has got the spiralizer, he's got the standard uh, uh, spiralizer here and he's got a, a spirulli here. So I used one of these guys last night to process my radishes into like noodles for the soup I made. And of course he has the dehydrator right here to uh, you know, dehydrate fruits and vegetables, make things like kale chips that he buys sometimes because those guys can be expensive but when you make it yourself it's significantly cheaper and it even gets less if you guys grow your own kale. So hopefully Mauricio one of these days will start growing some of his own food. Actually I got him a moringa a tree at this time so he could start maybe making some moringa chips in his dehydrator. That being said, you know, I would encourage you guys if you don't have any of these appliances the first thing you guys should buy is either the uh, blender or the juicer, not the dehydrator. In my opinion, the blender and the juicer are far more valuable to you as a kitchen appliance, as a raw foodist, than a dehydrator is. You know, as much as I like dehydrators, dehydrators remove the water content. And we need the water content to be optimally healthy. If you are dehydrated, you know, you're not going to be operating at your peak performance, your peak brain power, and you know, certain disease conditions may appear simply because you're dehydrated. So these guys keep all the liquids and actually of the blending and juicing, I must say that I prefer the juicing. You know, just a little bit more. Not that I don't like blending because I blend plenty and I juice plenty. But based on some of the studies I've seen lately, you know, the juicer, especially the slow juicers, compared to a blender or a high-speed juicer will actually create 50% less cancer fighting ability when broccoli is processed based on studies. So I don't know about you, but I want 50% more cancer fighting ability because I've met people before on a raw foods diet who actually end up getting cancer, which I think is really sad. So we want to be proactive with our health and do things and process foods in the, in the least harmful way, right? Chewing your food would be best because that's a really low RPM if you chewed it into a mush like the Vitamix would make. And if you do use the Vitamix, I want to encourage you guys to only blend as much as absolutely needed to get it to the desired consistency and never just turn it on and walk out and let it run, you know, because it's gonna you're gonna be over blending and that's creating excess oxidation, which is actually lowering the nutrition and the important phytochemicals in the foods. Of course he has a standard stove that came with his place, and now what I want to show you guys is the myriad of fresh fruits and fresh vegetables he has. You know, we got lemons, organic apples, avocado, I uh, got a um, jujube fruit here, more apples, pears, oranges, he's got a quince fruit, there's tomatoes, and let's go ahead and go inside the fridge here. You guys can see this fridge is just filled with stuff. There's like uh, coconut, coconut meat, oh, he's got some kombucha, you know, uh, also we got, uh, oh, star fruits right here, got a uh, Cucumbers, got some uh, carrots, greens, papayas, more uh, coconuts, all kinds of greens and things in here, kohlrabi, and like lots of leafy greens. So you know, this to me looks like a recipe for success if you want to eat a raw foods diet. You know, you got the equipment and you got the uh, food to eat, and uh, yeah, so that's really important. So I want to encourage you guys, you know, Get set up with the food, get set up with the appliances. And if you gotta pick one, either the food or the appliances, get the food first, please. <laughs> get the appliances second, you know, because if you don't have the food, you can't even process them in the appliances. And even if you can't get one of the high-end machines like Mauricio um, has, like the Vitamix, you know, 
get what you can afford. Get a cheap, inexpensive blender because it's better than nothing. But you know, by all means, save up for that Vitamix. I've tested many blenders and they just don't perform like the Vitamix. The Vitamix is my current favorite one out there. But you know, get something in a pinch, it's gonna work better. And if it allows you to get more fruits and vegetables in you, I think it's great. And same thing goes with juicers. As much as I like the slow juicers, you know, if you can't afford one, get a high speed juicer. It's better than nothing, but I really encourage you guys to save up and get a good juicer because the good juicers, the good blenders, you know, the good blenders have like seven plus year, years on a warranty and the good juicers, like the NC800, has a 15 year warranty. So you really just gotta buy it once and you're gonna have it for 15 years instead of keep buying disposable, inexpensive juicers that make lower quality juice that you're gonna end up throwing away. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, you know, uh, me doing the jujitsu and then seeing uh, Mauricio's uh, appliances and the food that makes him successful. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe so you get notified of the next episode where actually I sit down with Mauricio to share with him, you know, uh, my tips. Also go over some of the challenges he's had from going from, uh, you know, raw vegan to cook vegan back to raw vegan now. And also give him my suggestions and answer some of his questions. And also be sure to uh, like this video if you like this format. I'll be sure to do more of these in the future. And be sure to check my past episodes. I've over 400 episodes now on all aspects of eating a healthy uh, fruit and vegetable based diet. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. I'm John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today I'm another exciting episode for you guys. And this is going to be a fun one at that. I got my buddy here, Paul Nissan, that I've known for, I don't know, like a long time. Uh, over 10 years easily, and I really get to see Paul because he lives on the other side. Give me a wallet, man. Oh, I need you. <laughs> <laughs>